Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. How are you all doing? Are you happy and excited? I am because today we are starting a new week. Come on, let's start it. Let's um, first of all sing one of the songs that we learned last week. Do you remember this one? It sounds like like this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. So we need um, the moon the star and the sun because this is a rhyme so these three words are going to help us let me move the screen a little bit so you can see everything in it go and get your scarf if you don't have it with you and let's sing it one two and three zoom 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 we're going to the moon zoom 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 we're going to the moon if you want to take a trip, climb aboard the rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Here comes the star. Far, far, far. We're going to the stars. Far, far, far. We're going to the stars. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard the rocket ship, far, 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 we're going to the stars in five, four, three, two, one, last of, and just one more, sun, 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 we're going to the sun, fun, 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 we're going to the sun, if you want to take a trip, Climb aboard the rocket ship, fun, fun, fun. We're going to the sun in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Now let's continue singing the one that we learned about the five senses. Are you ready? I have two eyes so I can see, and a nose to smell. I have ten fingers that can touch, they do it very well. I have two ears so I can hear the birds up in the trees. I have a tongue inside my mouth to taste the food I eat. Okay, so let's continue by reviewing how do you feel today? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you angry? Scared? Silly? <laughs> are you excited? <gasps> I am. Are you surprised? Are you shy? Or are you embarrassed? Think about it, friends, and you can go and tell your parents the way you feel and why. So today, I am, let me move so you can see me, there we go, let's see, here we go. So today, I am excited because it's Monday and we're going to do a lot of things together this week. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do them together. We're going to have a lot of them. So that's the way I feel today. I am excited. And... Let's look at the weather. Let's look at the weather chart. Let's look outside. Oh no. Today it's raining. How's the weather? How's the weather? How is the weather today? Is it sunny? No, it isn't sunny today. Is it cloudy? No, it isn't. Is it rain uh, windy? Uh -uh. Is it rainy? Yes, friends. Today, it's a rainy day. So why don't we sing the rain? Let's sing it to the rain and say, rain, please go away. Let's do it. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. All the children want to play. Rain, 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 go away. Hopefully tomorrow, Tuesday, it will be sunny. Well, we'll see. We just need to wait. What day is it today? 
There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Today is the first day of the week. Well, for us it's Monday, okay friends? So today is Monday, and let's look at the numbers. Let me put the sun down, so we can use it later or tomorrow. But let's look at the calendar, here we go. I've got my green marker, and let's look at it. We said that is Monday, so let's go down, down, down. Oh, today's the 27th, Monday the 27th of April, or April 27th, and it is um, raining. So this is the cloud, the fluffy cloud, and this is the rain. Yesterday was, oh, why is this not complete? Well, it doesn't matter, friends. So yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday, and tomorrow will be Tuesday, the 28th. Today, 27, and tomorrow, 28. Let's put the calendar down so we can use it tomorrow. Let's put the days of the week down so we can use them tomorrow, Tuesday. And the same with the star and the moon. Let's put it with the sun down there. And here, friends, I put that it's raining. You see the rain is sad, the cloud is sad. Um, and here, friends, it says that we are in spring. So let's put it up. So I mean, spring, rain, and now it is time to dress these two friends that we've got here. Who's gonna be first today? The boy or the girl? Let's start with the girl today. So we just said friends that is raining. The first thing we need is the umbrellas. Come under my umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Come under my umbrella. It's starting to rain with thunder and lightning. You see? Can I? They are protected and they're gonna get wet. She is also going to wear a, let me see if it's this one, is not the other one. Yeah, this is the one. Look, it's a raincoat. He is going to wear a raincoat too. It's a rain. You see that is made out of plastic, so it's waterproof. And books for him. And let me get some food for the girl. And boots for her. Green boots for the girl. And yellow boots for the boy. So let's continue, friends. As we have just said, today is Monday, the 27th of April. And we are going to practice and work with Daisy, Robin, and the mouse. Daisy, Robin, and me. And we've been hi to you. And also we will work with the garden project. Let's review the vocabulary that we are learning. Who is he? An astronaut. Very good. Stars. Friends, if you want, um, you can repeat. So repeat after me. Astronaut. Stars. Moon. Stars, no, that's the sky, sky, rocket, and earth, very good. Let's play our game, what is missing? We can see the stars, the moon, the sky, the rocket, and the earth. What are we missing? Who are we missing? The astronaut. 
Very good. Try to speak up, try to say it out loud. Although you are home, it doesn't matter, okay? I'm going to hear you anyways. <laughs> One more time. Now we've got stars, moon, sky, the earth, and the astronaut. What are we missing? The rocket. One more again. Stars, sky, rocket, earth, astronaut. What are we missing? The moon. Very good. Now we have the stars, moon, rocket, earth, astronaut. What are we missing? Sky. Good job. Now we've got the moon, the stars, no, the sky. Oh, it's because they begin with the same sound. Sky, stars. We have the rocket, earth, and the astronaut. So we are missing the, what? Stars. Good job. Just one more. We have the stars, the moon, sky, the rocket, and the astronaut. What are we missing? Mm, the earth. Good job. Another game. What is behind this blue rectangle? What's behind? It's not the stars. It's not the moon. It's not the sky. It's not the earth. And it's not the rocket. Who is behind the blue um, rectangle? The astronaut. What's behind the rectangle now? Not the stars. Not the moon, not the sky, and it's not planet Earth or the astronaut. What's behind? The rocket. Good job. What's behind the blue rectangle? Not the stars, it's not the sky, it's not the Earth or the astronaut or the rocket. What's behind the rectangle? The moon. What's behind this one? It's not the stars, not the earth, the astronaut, the rocket, or the moon. Then what's behind? Sky. Good job. Now we've got the rectangle again, and we've got the astronaut, the moon, the earth, the rocket and the stars. I mean the sky. <laughs> what are we missing? I just said it. It's okay. The sky. I mean the stars. And do we have another one? Yes. What's? Where's the rectangle? No, the rectangle is gone. But we, what are we missing up there, on top of the earth? What should be there? Ah, the blue rectangle and the moon. There you go. Let's continue. Okay, friends, I'm not. It is time for maths. So we are going to learn and we are going to work with the numbers, although I know that you are doing it with Maria, so we can do a little bit of addition in English too. Addition, here we go. Look at her, she looks like the teacher. <laughs> Let's do it together, friends. We are going to add first how many stars, how many planets, how many satellites and how many rocks or asteroids? I'm not sure. Let's count the stars, friends. How many stars do you see? Four and four equals eight. Very good. Let's count now the satellites. Four on top. So four and six equals 10. Now let's look at the satellites. You've got one plus three. So three and one or one plus three, 
that's very easy. Number four. And now let's look at the gray rockets. Two and two equals four. There are four rock, um, rocks. Next um, worksheet. We're going to count now how many rockets. Four here. And then there are, there are two. So four and two, there are six. How many aliens? Three, very good. How many monsters? There are five on top. There's a line of five plus two. So five and two equals seven. How many Earths? One, two, three, four. So four and one, two, and two. Four and two, there's, there are six, right? Just put them together. Four and two, you put them together and there are six. One more. Okay, friends, now I am going to let you do it. I'm going to give you time, but I'm not going to do it with you this time. Count how many moons, great spheres, and say it out loud. And I'm going to tell you if you're right or if you need to do, to do it again. So count the moons. There were eight, three, and five equals eight when you put them together. Now let's do the same with the astronauts. Let's count. There are 10, five on top and five together make 10. Sons, let's count. There are nine, six on top, plus three equals nine. Good job, friends. And the last one, let's look at those stars shooting stars on top there are three and three there are there are ten three plus six this is the plus symbol it looks like a cross it's the plus so three plus six I mean seven because there are seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, three plus seven. There are seven, sorry, friends. And we have finished with maths. And you don't have to do that worksheet with your parents at home because we have just done it together. Let's see, what do we have to learn about the project? Let's review the song. First we say it, then we sing it. I have two eyes so I can see and a nose to smell. I have ten fingers that can touch. They do, do it, it very well. I have two ears so I can hear the birds up in the trees. I have a tongue inside my mouth to taste the food. Let's I sing eat. it now. I have two eyes so I can see and a nose to smell. I have ten fingers that can touch. I do it very well. I have two ears so I can hear the birds up in the trees. I have a tongue inside my mouth to test the thing I eat. Apples. I have two eyes so I can see and a nose to smell. I have ten fingers that can touch and do it very well. 
I have two ears so I can hear the birds up in the trees. I have a tongue inside my mouth to test the food I eat. So that's the song we learned last week. And we are going to review very quick the five senses. So you can smell stinky socks or a rose or bread because you've got a nose. You can see a boat or a rabbit or the sky, the moon, the stars because we have eyes. I can see with my eyes. The next one. Oh, what do you do with your ear? You can hear with your ear. You can hear the bells ringing, loud music, or you can also hear the fireworks. That's the sense of touching, touch. You can touch because you have fingers, you've got hands, you've got skin. So thanks to the skin, the hands, the fingers, we can touch cats or pets, animals. We can touch the cold snow or we can touch the soil when we are sowing or when we are planting seeds or plants. Ooh, and we can taste if something is sweet, if something is sour, if something is spicy because we've got a tongue inside our mouth. So we can taste ice cream, we can taste fruits, we can taste lemon. So those are the five senses. I can see with my eye, I can taste with my tongue, I can smell with my nose, I can hear with my ear, and I can touch with my skin, with my hands. Oh, I think it's time to work. You need a pencil. And we're going to do this worksheet together and afterwards you can do it at home, okay, in your house. So you need the pencil and it says circle the correct answer. So let's look at the very first one. What are the people using in the pictures? So up on top there's one girl and she's reading a book. What organ is she using? What senses is she using? The eye, very good. We can read books, we can look at books because we've got eyes. So you can um, circle the eye, like that one. Let's look at the boy next to the girl. He's smelling a flower. Let's pretend this is a flower. I can smell with my, can I smell with my ear? Uh -uh. Can I smell with my tongue? Uh -uh. I can smell with my nose. Okay, let's look at the next one. It says, oh, in the next one, the boy is eating an apple. So what organ is he using? Is he using the eye, the ear, or the tongue? The tongue, the mouth, very good. I can taste with my mouth, with my tongue. And look at another girl. She's listening to music. Can you touch the music? No. Can you see the music? No. You can hear. You can listen to the music with your ear. There you go. Next one. Now it's about feelings. So let's see and let's um, circle if those animals are happy or sad. Just look at their faces. The very first one is a dog and I believe he's waving, you know, he's moving the tail. I believe that he is happy. But the boy, the dog next to him, that, that, that one, I think is, he's not happy at all. He's sad. Mm -mm. And now look at the cat. Is he happy or is he sad? I would say that he's just sleeping. It doesn't have to be sad. 
No, I would say that he is happy. And now look at the other cat. Oh, he is very angry, very, very sad. So now, friends, that you have done it with Miss Irene, now at the end of this video, you can do it with your parents. Or you can do it by yourself, because you're all turning five and six. And today I would like to finish this, um, I mean today's um, video, by showing you how to do this experiment at home. It's super duper easy, and you don't have to do it today because I don't know if your parents have M&Ms, so those chocolates, mm, they're delicious. So if you've got them, perfect, you can do it um, today. And if you don't, no worries, because you can always go back and watch this video anytime you want. Just look at it. It's, um, the, the water is going to melt or dissolve the colored um, m &Ms. Look at it. Or it's milk. Yeah, it's milk because it says you need, the materials that you need are a plate, the m &Ms, those chocolates, put coloring, milk, and dishwashing liquid. Oh, for washing the, the, the dishes. Let's see. So that's the food coloring, the milk, the dishwashing liquid, and you put everything, for everything on the plate. Oh, friends, so um, I'm very sorry because I have just noticed that there is a mistake um, in the materials that you need. You don't need the M&Ms for this um, experiment. Okay, if you need to do it, if you want to do it, you don't need um, M&Ms. I think it's the one that we will do tomorrow, I'm not sure. But you need just a plate, a plate, the food coloring, milk, and the dishwashing liquid. And it is time for me to say goodbye. I will see you tomorrow again. Have a wonderful day. I love you and I miss you. Goodbye, friends.